evening everybody this is Steve coming back <coughs> Excuse me. and we're doing another book review tonight it is still March 7th um, 11 56 p.m. and so we are closely approaching midnight here getting another book review done for you and we'll get this uploaded to YouTube for your enjoyment. Excuse me. Um, always as a quick note, I do appreciate you if you are a subscriber to my channel, of course. And if you have not subscribed, I do always encourage you to do that. Just hit the little bell icon uh, down on the bottom uh, below the screen here, or it should be to the left or right of your monitor. And by doing so, you will be alerted to any of my future videos as I release them. Uh, a lot of you already know that I do mostly book reviews, but I do have a tendency to share my personal experiences with the occult uh, since I have had about 28, I've been involved about 28 years. I'm slowly getting like more rituals out and whatnot, but mostly I'm focusing on book reviews. My personal experience um, with those books, uh, how, about, you know, how I've used them, if I've done rituals out of the books or whatnot, what's worked for me, what hasn't, stuff like that. And of course, if you do like this video or any of my other videos, I do encourage you to hit that like button as well. And that should be right down below. Either give me a thumbs up or a thumbs down and leave me a comment. Uh, either one, it does help my channel. And uh, either one also is, helps me with uh, providing better content um, to my subscribers and future viewers. So I would appreciate that very much. So let's go ahead and jump into this uh, book review. Uh, tonight's book review is actually an encyclopedia. And that encyclopedia is... The Encyclopedia of Demons and Demonology by Rosemary Ellen Gillier with John Zaffis. I'm sorry, the forward is by John Zaffis. Um, I think they work together, actually, is uh, what they end up doing. Um, this book was published back in 2009 by Visionary Living Incorporated and does contain 302 pages in it. If you'd like to know more about uh, Rosemary Ellen and about Visionary Living, you can go to www.visionaryliving.com to learn more. Uh, Rosemary Ellen Gillier, I, I think I'm pronouncing that right. You know, again, I, I, if I'm chopping it, I do apologize. Is it is it Gully? Rosemary Ellen Gully? Uh, maybe. So we'll we'll continue. I'll just call her Rosemary from now on. How about that? I don't want to like, you know, get anybody like upset at me. Uh, so, anyways, uh, she's a best-selling author on books, uh, including paranormal as well as uh, mystical and visionary experiences. She has been a paranormal investigator for many years and does make numerous lectures and media appearances. According to last known sources, she does reside in the state of Connecticut here in, in the U.S. John Zephis, by the way, is also a paranormal investigator and author and has been recognized as one of the leading authorities on demonic hauntings and positions. With more than 30 years experience, he's worked on over 7,000 cases internationally. That is like a lot. <laughs> It's, that means like about like a third of the year it's like you're handling cases uh, it, w it would seem uh, and then um, has assisted in more than 90 cases of genuine demonic possession and he has also conducted work with clergy of different faiths and participated in exorcism and he as well also lives in the state of Connecticut here in the U.S. Uh, additional books by Rosemary Ellen include uh, the Encyclopedia of Angels, second edition, which I have yet to do a review on myself as well. Encyclopedia of Ghosts and Spirits, third edition, the Encyclopedia of Magic and Alchemy. 
Encyclopedia of Saints, the Encyclopedia of Vampires, Werewolves, and Other Monsters, the Encyclopedia of Witches, Witchcraft, and Wicca, 3rd Edition. And of course, if I've already uh, done a book review on one of her other books, The Art of Black Mirror Scrying. I did do that one a couple of weeks back here. I must say, uh, though, that I thoroughly do enjoy um, books, especially encyclopedias and reference manuals such as this. Uh, you either love them or hate them. So uh, they, they either accommodate your library or they don't. Uh, when it comes to the idea of evil, most of us, uh, including cultures and societies as well as uh, religious groups, often seem to personify devils and demons as the source of evil. And many cultures and religions do see these entities as real and operating within the shadows, attempting to lead the human race astray. Whether you believe in demons or there are, I'm sorry, whether you believe demons are real or not, there are many fascinating beliefs and traditions that surround demons and devils throughout the world. Before I do go any further, though, in this review, as an occultist, a practitioner of chaos magic, and a left-hand path practitioner. Uh, religions, particularly Christianity, are partly to blame for the idea of demonizing many of the spirits, as well as cultural deities from ancient times. We'll just throw that in there. Uh, the book does contain over 400 entries and over 80 black and white photographs documenting demons, demonology uh, from ancient history to the present. The book also does contain cultural references and representations of demons in relation to books and stories, demons in movies, television shows, and other cultural materials. Okay, the book also does cover demons and culture and religious traditions and the roles that they have partaken in play, demons and folklore and popular culture. Uh, again, you know, as I just stated, uh, with, you know, pop culture, uh, TV shows, movies, and such. Uh, how to confront demons, discussions on exorcisms and other means, historical cases of demonic activity and possession, history and demonology, magic and witchcraft, about modern day demonologists and the roles that they play, creatures and entities that are related to demons and types of demons based on a variety of classifications. Uh, and as I just said a few moments ago, um, you, know, uh, you know, I'm really not gonna get into like this book particularly. Um, like, uh, you know, most books of this type, encyclopedias, they are simply just listings and listings and listings of, you know, the material that's based in them. And I, I can show you a couple pages, a couple photos. Um, and, you know. For instance, the whoops, demon gap from the Goetia. Um, you're gonna have, you're gonna find Goetia spirits in here. You're gonna find um, spirits from the Book of Evermelon. Um, there's like some pictures of artwork in here. They're actually in black and white. They're not in color. Let's see if I can't find more. Mm. Picture of what they say is a picture of Lucifer. There. And so on and so forth. I mean, obviously, you know, again, it's an encyclopedia, so it's broken up. It starts from A, B, C, D, goes all the, all the way down to Z. So, again, I'm not going to spend a whole lot of time on this particular um, 
review simply because it's just a book like really straightforward again just listing after after listing after listing um, you know so that way you know you can just go ahead and cross-reference information however you want uh, you know for me when it comes to encyclopedias again you either like them or and and they're a part of your library or you don't I personally like them in my opinion I have a tendency to uh, like most of the encyclopedias in my library and I find them very um, very easy to go to if I just need to get you know quick reference on something one or two books you know I'll go ahead you usually get like one of my encyclopedias on something and then cross reference with some, re reference it with something else in another book you know as opposed to like having to pull down six or seven books you know to get the information I need um, I again personally like encyclopedia so this folks will actually be a very very short listing or I should say a very very short video for my channel um, you know I do recommend it I'm not going to say it's a high recommendation but I again it's an encyclopedia you know I do recommend it uh, you know you should at least have a couple good ones in your library if anything just like encyclopedias on uh, magical correspondences um, you know things of that nature anything that has to do with magical reference and ceremonies and magical practice you should probably have a good encyclopedia or two so uh, with that folks I'm just gonna go ahead and call this video short <laughs> at this point and I'm gonna go ahead and let you go and get this loaded up to YouTube uh, so that everybody can go ahead and watch it and of course folks I always do enjoy you watching my channel I do appreciate your subscriptions and uh, I do encourage you to share my videos with others if you'd like and with that folks I'm gonna wish you a very fond farewell make sure you tell your family that you love them give your kids a big hug tell them good night and uh, you know take care and infernal blessings as always bye